What's up, YouTube? Z-Truck7 here. Um, I'm just going to talk about uh, YCS San Jose, how it went, and I'm going to show you my prizes and my deck and just tell you how, how I ran it and why I ran what I ran and the choices I made. So, yeah, um, I, I was uh, going to run X-Sabers originally. I borrowed the deck from my friend, um, but... He didn't have any Emmers Blades and only had one. And I tried to pick some up before um, I came. Because he went to me on Wednesday. The Wednesday right before the tournament. So I tried to pick some up, but I, I couldn't. So I decided to run gadgets last minute the day of. And then, like, at 6 in the morning, I made the deck. I mean, like, th throughout the day before the tournament. Like, three or four hours, I, I, I finished up the deck list. And... Uh, I ran Machina Gadgets. Um, I did pretty well. I played um, a few decks. Uh, I don't really remember the order I played them in, but I do remember most of the decks I played. Um, I think I played a Gemini deck round one. Um, I, I, I'm not really sure what he's running. I know he had, like, Ge I saw a Gemini Spark, some Trap Stones, a few Gemini Monsters, but. I, I don't. I guess he didn't really draw into any of the stuff that he he needed, because I I didn't really see most of the, his deck. Um, <clears throat> and then I played. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't know what order I played them in, but I played an X Saber deck. I think it was round three. No, I played a GB deck round three. Um, I beat that. I played an X Saber deck. I played a lot of lights on decks. My 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 two losses in in Swiss. My only two losses in Swiss were both to lights Um But uh, the other one, I played three other ones and I beat them. So um, so day one or the first eight rounds of day one, um, I went X one. My only loss was round five or six. I played my friend. Uh, XX Gen X Kid XX. He was running light zones. He has a really good build. You should check him out. Um, I think he has a deck list on his profile. But yeah, um, he beat me, and then I went on to play some. Uh, uh, I actually played a mirror match against someone I know. He were he vends at Frankenson's, so that was kind of strange that I had played two people in a row that I knew. Um, <clears throat> and then I played. I believe it was a Lightsworn deck after that, and I beat that deck. And then I played a uh, zombie deck, and I beat that. And then that was the eight rounds. Um, I don't really remember the other rounds I played. Um, but I'm pretty sure I named the, every single deck I played. And then I won 7-1 day, uh, the first eight rounds, they broke up. Uh, the people into they gave everyone their rankings and top 128 came back Sunday for round nine and ten. Uh, round nine I lost to a Lightsworn deck, um, and then round ten I played another Lightsworn deck and I won. So I, I was I, X2 after Swiss, and I got into top 32. Um, my match in top 32 I played another Lightsworn deck, and I beat that. And then in top 16 I played Quick Draw. And I beat that. And then top eight, I played the guy that won the whole YCS. Um, he's a pretty good player. He's pretty cool, too. And his deck was really um, interesting. It worked out really well. Um, we actually had a feature match. So you guys can read our match online at yugioh-card.com. Um, yeah, it was a really good match. I, it was one of my favorite matches of, the day, of that day. Of the whole YCS, other than me playing with my friend. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, so I ended up in top eight and I got uh, this mat, the Dark Lord mat. Um, so I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but just if you guys want to just make offers, I might, I might get rid of it. I'm not sure yet. And then I won the, the World Championship 2010. Professor Arcadia Yu-Gi-Oh game and the DSi XL and this I'm definitely getting rid of so if you guys want this 
um, just make offers. Um, I prefer cash on this stuff. So, yeah, just let me know. Um, and then I'm just going to show you my deck list now. And explain what I ran, why I ran what I ran. Um, so, as you can see, I ran three of each gadget. No, a lot, a lot of people don't really like that. They run two of each. But my reasoning is, um, for game one, I want to have, I want to make sure I draw into them. Um, I only ran 18 monsters, and the rest were spawn traps, 22. I believe it's 18 monsters, 11 spells, and 11 traps. Um, so, I ran three of each because I, I, I want to at least draw one. And then it's really good deck thinning. Like you summon one, search the other, summon one, search the other. So, that it, if I even if I draw a handful of gadgets, which I think happened to me once, out of like the whole time I played there, I could still. I I would I would just summon gadget after gadget until I I thin my deck out, and eventually I would either draw into a gear frame or a back row that would help me. And I didn't I didn't want to main. I mean people run two of each, um, and then they can main something that they would have cited like. For example, I cited banishers, so like some some people might might have run one of each, I mean two of each gadget, and then main like one banisher or two banishers, and like a breaker. I would always cite those in because they're really good against like light sworn and I mean people cite into Cree against gadgets, so it's only fair that you cite in breakers to break those decrees if you can't draw into your MSTs. Um, so yeah, I run I ran three fortresses. Um, they're just big beaters. They have really good effect. If you get rid of it somehow, they you know get rid of a card in your hand. Maybe depends if you target it or not, or if you kill by battle, get a destroyed card on the field. Uh, three gear frames, eighteen beaters, searchers. So those are really good too. Really good top deck. Um, and then two cyber dragons just for those mirror matches or just big beaters, like. I mean, like, the gadgets can't really run over anything. Like, if they, And then gear frames are pretty high, but if they have 19 beaters on the field, like, I have to get rid of them somehow. So, yeah, Cyber Dragons. Um, and one force just to get back my gear frame. I mean, my uh, fortresses. Um, I ran Trip Smashing Ground just for a mos basic monster removal. And then two Pod Dualities. Um, I only, only one of these is mine. I borrowed this from a friend. He managed to pick it up, like, right when the tourney started. So, um, th thanks to him, um, I was running two. And then, double MST. Um, just, just for, I would have cited these, but I wanted to main them just because I knew a lot of people were, were setting a lot. Like, since Heavy Storm has been banned, like, that's one of the reasons this deck is good. Because they banned Heavy Storm, so you can set all your back row. And, I mean, what are they, they can't Heavy Storm you anymore, so... The best they can do is cold wave black rose or cold wave high only, but even then, like there's effect veiler which can stop that. So, um, yeah. So monster reborn dark hole, they're just really good, not to run. Like I mean, they're ba they were banned for a reason. Um, now this is another card right here, solidarity. A lot of people are probably like thinking, oh what the hell? Like why just one? Like why even run it? I wanted to run two, but I couldn't find any room. So, I just named the one. I would usually cite one of these out, and then three of e one of each gadget, and then throw in whatever I needed. Um, but I, I'm gonna fix this up. Like I have a regionals coming up this weekend, so I'm gonna see if I can, how I can fit this other another one of these in. Um, limiter, really good card. Won me some a few games. Trip D prison. Um, just for monster removal, one for ones. Double Solemn Warning, I love this card so good. Um, double Bottomless, Mirror Force, Solemn, Oppression, and Torrential. So yeah, that's my deck. Um, you can see the deck list also on, on Yu-Gi-Oh! hyphen card. Um, so yeah, this is the deck right now. Um, if you want to see the side deck and extra deck, it's online, like I said. I'll just post the whole thing up too on the bottom link. So rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys. Peace.